Hello and welcome back once again to Viking Whiskey. Um, yeah, I've been <laughs> I've been gone uh, a, a bit again. Um, I was actually uh, quite sick for a few weeks and um, I managed to uh, lose my voice completely. So it was a uh, bit of a challenge recording. Uh, anyway, today I'm back and as promised um, on request, uh, trying to review uh, a few more accessible uh, whiskies. I picked this one down off my shelf. 12 year old Glenmore that I've actually been wanting to open for a while um, to see what that's all about. Let's see. Let's just get it open here. There it is. There's the bottle. Glenmore, 12 year old American cask. And it's definitely an affordable uh, dram. Here, this bottle is just around. Uh, how much that's around 40 euros so yeah an affordable 12 euros uh, 12 year old whiskey uh, the details that are not much but those that i have are in the screen right here all right there we go you should be happy uh, yeah i cut away the part where i had to remove that foil from the cork. That took a bit longer than uh, expected. Anyway, let's see what this is all about. Yeah, um, very light uh, floral uh, nose. There's a little bit of um, of honeysuckle sweetness, uh, light toffee. There's some icing sugar. A little bit of ripe pear. But otherwise just juicy, floral, fruity notes. It's not bad, very light, of course. This is bottled at 40%, uh, watered down quite a bit, um, but you know, let's see how it tastes. Well, as expected, it is quite light. <clears throat> as I'm really used to reviewing cast strength whiskies, this actually tastes like a decent whiskey that just had a lot of water added. Really, you can taste the water. <laughs> it's quite fun. Um, but the first notes you get out are just like light black pepper, some very light sweetness. There's some apple juicy sweetness, <clears throat> um, minimal uh, alcohol bite, a bit of warmth. Um, then you do also develop some bitterness quite fast. Um, there is some, some of that freshly cut grass, um, some of those oaky notes, but you do also have a bit of barley, a bit of cereals. Um, overall, quite nice, very light. Um, just a tiny, tiny, tiny hint of something different in there. Maybe very, very light smoke, but it's, it is very light if it's there. Second chew. Right there in the second chew, I get quite a good dose of barley and toffee and some of that icing sugar. <clears throat> um, there's a little bit of chocolate milk, some creamy stuff going on, maybe even custard, vanilla for sure. Mm. 
just those typical bourbon cask notes. Mm. But here it's getting warmer, it's actually also getting a bit fuller, and it's turning into a um, quite nice dram. At this price, this is really great, I think. It's very hard to beat. Mm. Last one. Yeah, and the last two just develops a bit of ripe banana and those sort of fruity flavors to the mix. So a little bit of, let's say, exotic fruit cocktail. Light ginger also, mm, surprising. <clears throat> and actually, um, there is that smoke now. It has developed. It's not, not strong in any way, but it's definitely there in the background. <coughs> Sorry, the voice is not entirely back again, as you may be able to tell. <coughs> so, um, on the finish, you have vanilla, toffee, custard, some of that smoke, ripe banana and a bit of banana peel. Mm. Yeah, it's quite decent. Mm. It it's not very long though, and it does uh, some astringency coming out here as it rolls along, um, which is not super pleasant. But it's a very good drinker, and in terms of the price, I told you a completely wrong figure. <laughs> um, uh, my conversion wasn't really working. I think it's more like let's say 25 euros. So it's actually a cheap whiskey for, for an actual 12 year old. Um, so rating it on the nose, I'm gonna say that's a 76. Taste wise, it's very nice. It's gonna get an 82. And on the finish, yeah. There's too much of this astringency and oakiness coming out here at the end, so finish is not that great. I'm gonna land on 78. So, see how my math does this time. <coughs> that will be 79 on the average. All right, thanks so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it, I did. Hope you liked me trying some of the not so high end stuff for a change. Um, and I'll do that again next time I get to recording. Um, thank you and see you again next time. Cheers.